Hi, my name is Ron Knapp, and I'm making this short video to let you know how I'm using the Apex battery. I bought the Apex to power this small travel trailer that I bought this January to go up in the mountains and use as basically a bed with solid size sides because last year when my brother-in-law and son and I went camping a mountain lion came through the campsite and my wife and I decided that we needed something more as a deterrent than just a tent. So what I purchased from Energy is the Apex battery. I also got three base lights, base camp light, LED lights. Uh, the long cable connection from the battery to the solar panel and I also have one 100 watt solar panel. What really turned me on to this battery in addition to size, it's, it's only 25 pounds, was this plug right here. It's a 30 amp plug. With this battery I can simply come over here Bring it inside. I like charging it inside versus outside because I have security concerns about just leaving it outside. But right now the trailer is on the 12 volt battery in the toolbox up front. And you can see right here, that's the battery for the trailer. It's at 12.5. And if I plug this in, and then turn on the battery. Can't really see it, it's kind of bright. I'm always surprised at how many watts the trailer is pulling off. But you look up here, and you notice it was 12 something before, now it's 13.5. So it is powering everything in here. I have uh, 110 outlets, it'll power that. I have this 32 inch TV. This is a pre-owned trailer that the person before already had this set up. I have a microwave, Keurig coffee maker, and this is a, on top of the microwave, it's a Blu-ray player. So I can use all those with the battery and with the solar panel, it also came with, it's somewhere in here, this right here, this is the power supply. So I can, I can also power the battery on this 110 plug. But this last time that we went out, uh, I got the solar panel and just put it on top of the trailer. And while we were out four wheel driving in the mountains, when we got back to camp, the battery was back at 100%. And I usually don't drain the battery down to anywhere further than 50%. So it's working out great. And for right now, I, I was just running the, the cable through the window over there. Cause like I said, I didn't like the fact that the battery was just outside while we were away from the campsite. These base lights are nice. They're 10 feet each and they plug into each other. So if I just connect them, oh, it's in the front. There you go. They're, each of them has a 10 foot cord. So I have an awning, a do it yourself awning that I put on top of the trailer. It comes out right over in here in front of the trailer. And because they're 10 feet, I can go all the way around on my awning. And then I have a light here on the trailer. So it works great. And if I turn that off, it's no longer charging the battery. The battery on the trailer, it starts dropping because it's no longer getting charged. I really like the fact that I don't have to have a generator. I have all the power that I need simply from this one battery. And <clears throat> because it's portable, it's really easy. It's only 25 pounds, like I said putting it in and out of the trailer, putting it in and out of the car, or even using it around the house, which I really haven't done that, but it is very versatile and charging it, it, it gives me great flexibility to use it. I really love it.